Have you ever seen a budgie so striking? It looks like it's wearing a mask. Well, let me introduce you to one of the rarest and most captivating mutations in the budgie world, the blackface mutation budgie. Imagine walking into a bird aviary and spotting a budgie that instantly stands out with deep shadowy markings on its face that almost resemble a painted mask. It's not just beautiful, it's mysterious, rare, and still not fully understood. But breeders and enthusiasts around, the world are fascinated by it, and for good reason. In this video, we're diving deep into the world of blackface mutation budgies, what they are, what makes them so different from other budgies, and most importantly, what happens when you crossbreed them with other mutations. We'll uncover the secrets behind their genetics, explore their unique physical traits, and reveal the unexpected results breeders have observed when mixing this mutation with others. Whether you're a casual bird lover or an experienced breeder, there's something truly surprising waiting for you in this journey. And trust me, you'll want to stick around till the end. Some of the crossbreeding outcomes are not just unexpected, they're downright jaw-dropping. But before we get to the jaw-dropping crossbreeding outcomes, let's understand what makes blackface budgies so unique in the first place. Blackface mutation budgies explained. So what exactly is the blackface? Mutation? Well, picture your typical budgie. Bright, colorful, lively. Now imagine one with bold, dark shading that extends dramatically across its face and down its chest. It's as if the bird has dipped its head into charcoal. That's the blackface. Mutation. This striking variation isn't just a fluke or a one-off bird with unusual pigmentation. It's a genetic mutation, meaning it's passed down through selective breeding. The blackface mutation alters the distribution and density of melanin, the pigment responsible for coloration, leading to that intense, shadowy mask and deeper body coloration that fans find so mesmerizing. The story of the blackface budgie begins in Belgium, around the late 1990s to early 2000s. Breeders started noticing unusual offspring appearing in their aviaries, birds with darker facial markings and enhanced body tones. Initially, it caused quite a stir in the aviculture community. Was this a brand new mutation, a variation of an existing one, or just a fluke? As more breeders attempted to isolate and reproduce the trait, it became clear this was something entirely unique. Unlike other common mutations like opaline or cinnamon, the blackface isn't just about changing a single color. It transforms the overall visual identity of the bird. The pattern, the mask, the richness of color all shift dramatically. What makes it even more fascinating is that the genetic behavior of the blackface mutation is still being explored. Some breeders believe it's co-dominant. Others think it acts more like an incomplete dominant gene. The truth? It may vary depending on what it's paired with which makes crossbreeding both challenging and exciting. Of course, with uniqueness comes controversy. Some in the breeding community question whether certain birds labeled as blackface truly carry the gene, or if it's just selective darkening due to line breeding. As a result, there's still some debate over what constitutes a true blackface budgie, and that only adds to its mystery and allure. But one thing is for sure, when you see a real one, you know it. Now that we've uncovered the mystery behind the mutation, let's take a closer look at what these birds actually look like up close. Characteristics of Blackface Budgies Now that we've scratched the surface of what the blackface mutation is, let's dive deeper into what these birds actually look like and why they're considered visual masterpieces in the budgie world. The first thing you'll notice is their face. Unlike the soft pastel or bright white masks seen in most budgies, blackface budgies have a dramatically dark facial mask that stretches across the forehead and down toward the throat. This mask is dense, rich in pigment, and in some cases it continues faintly down into the upper chest, creating an intense shadowed look, almost like the bird is wearing a costume. When it comes to body color, the blackface mutation doesn't just add darkness to the face, it also amplifies and deepens the body hue. Blues appear richer, greens become bolder, and overall, the contrast between the mask and body gives the bird a striking two-tone effect that pops, even from a distance. Their feather patterns and textures are generally similar to standard budgies, 
but some breeders report a slight change in how the melanin is distributed on the wings and tail, giving off a sharper, more defined pattern in certain individuals. In terms of size and structure, blackface budgies are typically the same as your standard pet budgie, small, nimble, and light. There's no significant difference in body size or beak shape that distinguishes them from other mutations. What sets them apart is purely their dramatic coloration, but it's not just about looks. These budgies are known to have vibrant personalities too. Most blackface budgies are as social, curious, and intelligent as their classic counterparts. Some breeders have even observed them to be slightly more vocal and interactive, though this may just be coincidence or a result of selective socialization rather than the mutation itself. When compared to other popular mutations like opaline, pied, or spangle, the blackface stands out like a work of art. While those mutations affect patterns and brightness, the blackface adds depth, drama, and mystery, making it one of the most coveted looks among collectors and breeders. Impressive, right? But how do you actually breed these beauties? Let's break down the breeding process next. Breeding of blackface mutation budgies. Blackface budgies isn't for the faint of heart. It requires knowledge, patience, and a keen eye for genetics. Unlike more common mutations, the blackface mutation involves unique challenges, and it's essential to understand the ins and outs before you dive in. The first major step in breeding these beauties is pair selection. When you're breeding blackface budgies, you need to know whether you're working with pure blackface, carriers or split carriers. A pure blackface budgie is one that carries both copies of the blackface gene, whereas a split carrier only carries one. The challenge here is that split carriers may not visually show the mutation, so it's crucial to select pairs carefully. Pairing a pure blackface with a split carrier can still give you offspring with the blackface trait, but the odds may vary depending on how the genetics play out. Next up, there's the question of whether the blackface mutation is dominant or recessive. The truth is, it's still somewhat up for debate among breeders. Many believe the mutation behaves in a co-dominant way, meaning that if a budgie inherits one blackface gene, it will display the mutation, but the visual effect might not be as intense as a bird with two copies of the gene. In other words, a single gene can produce a blackface look, but it may be less pronounced compared to the double gene version. Once you've selected your pairs, it's time to consider the breeding setup and environment. Like most budgies, blackface budgies thrive in environments that are spacious, clean, and quiet. These birds are known to be sensitive to stress, which can impact their breeding success. It's best to provide a calm, controlled environment where the pair feels safe and can bond. A well-ventilated aviary or cage with plenty of natural light is ideal. Keep the breeding area as low stress as possible, ensuring proper nutrition and a consistent routine. Now, let's talk about success rates and complications. Breeding blackface budgies can be tricky as the mutation is still relatively rare and genetically complex. Even with the right pair, breeders may not always see consistent results. Some pairs will produce offspring with the blackface trait, while others may fail to do so entirely. Breeders often report that it can take a few generations of selective breeding to consistently produce true blackface offspring. It's not unusual for the mutation to skip a generation, making it a bit unpredictable. This is part of the thrill, but also the frustration, of breeding these birds. Ethical considerations are also crucial when breeding blackface budgies, or any rare mutation. Overbreeding or breeding solely for appearance can lead to health problems in the birds. It's important to prioritize the health and well-being of the budgies, ensuring that genetic diversity isn't compromised for the sake of looks. Ethical. Breeders will also consider the long-term genetic implications, ensuring that the birds bred are strong and healthy and not overly inbred. Real-life breeders have shared their experiences with blackface mutations, with many noting that the key to successful breeding lies in patience and a deep understanding of the genetic intricacies. Some even recommend starting with more common mutations to gain confidence and experience before venturing into the complex world of blackface breeding. All right, now comes the part everyone's been waiting for. What happens when we cross blackface budgies with other mutations? Cross-breeding outcomes of blackface mutation budgies. 
So you've got your blackface mutation budgies. Now what happens when you start mixing them with other budgie mutations? Get ready for a wild ride through the world of genetic possibilities. Combination of two blackface budgies produces 100% blackface chicks. A blackface male and a normal split blackface female budgie will produce 50% blackface chicks and 50% normal split blackface chicks. If you cross a normal split blackface male with a normal split blackface female budgie, you will get 25% normal chicks, 50% normal split blackface chicks, 25% blackface chicks. When a blackface male is paired with a normal female budgie, the result is 100% normal split blackface chicks. When a normal split blackface male is paired with a normal female budgie, the offspring will be 50% normal split blackface chicks and 50% normal chicks. But what about blue series and green series? Budgies, these are the backbone of most budgie breeding. The blue series budgies, which are typically cooler in color when crossed with a blackface, produce birds with rich blue tones and dark striking faces. It's not uncommon for these to have bold, deep mask contrasts that stand out against their cool colored feathers. On the other hand, the green series budgies tend to produce offspring with vibrant green tones, and the blackface mask contrasts beautifully against these bright backgrounds. Whether you get a blue or green offspring, you're almost guaranteed to witness a stunning mix of coloration with the blackface mutation's dark shadows providing a dramatic twist to these classic colors. As breeders begin to experiment, they often encounter some genetic surprises. Sometimes unexpected traits can appear in the chicks, such as feather texture variations or eye color differences. It's not uncommon for blackface crosses to result in unexpected visual anomalies, like budgies with distinct wing patterns or body shapes that weren't present in the parents. These little surprises are part of the magic and the unpredictability of genetic mixing, where even the most experienced breeders can't always guess what they'll get. Now, let's talk about which crosses are most desired or rare. The Blue Series Blackface crosses tend to be the most sought after by breeders, simply because of the striking contrast between the dark mask and the rich blue hues. A pure blackface blue series budgie is not just rare, it's an absolute gem in the world of budgie breeding. On the other hand, the Lutino blackface crosses are less common, and some breeders see them as a unique challenge to breed, often, with results that turn out to be either stunningly subtle or not as expected. However, it's important to note that crossbreeding comes with its risks. Over time, certain mutations, like blackface, can begin to dilute, especially if bred too often with lighter mutations like albino or lutino. This could lead to mutations losing their intensity, resulting in offspring that look less and less like the original blackface budgies. Additionally, breeding for specific traits without considering overall genetic health can lead to inbreeding and the emergence of unwanted genetic disorders. For successful breeding, it's crucial to track lineage carefully. Breeders should use detailed records to avoid overbreeding certain traits and ensure they're maintaining healthy, genetically diverse stock. This will allow them to produce offspring that more closely resemble the desired blackface characteristics without compromising the bird's health. We've seen how wild and wonderful these outcomes can be, but what does it all mean for the future of budgie breeding? And there you have it, the mystery and appeal of blackface budgies unraveling the beauty and intricacies of these incredible mutations from their striking facial masks to the wild outcomes of crossbreeding, it's clear that these birds hold a unique place in the world of aviculture. Blackface budgies, with their rare and breathtaking looks, offer a bold contrast to the more common budgie mutations, captivating bird enthusiasts and breeders alike. Their genetic unpredictability, especially, when crossed with other mutations, adds an exciting dimension to the breeding process. It's a thrilling journey full of surprises, a bit of a gamble, but one that makes the results all the more satisfying when it works out. However, breeding these beauties comes with responsibility. Ethical breeding practices are essential to maintain the health and genetic diversity of the birds. It's important to approach breeding with care and caution, ensuring that the blackface mutation 
doesn't dilute or harm the genetic integrity of these stunning birds. As breeders, we must also be mindful of the long-term impact of selective breeding on their well-being. So, if you're a breeder or just a fan of budgies, why not dive deeper into the world of blackface budgies? Who knows? You might just end up with your very own stunning crossbreed masterpiece. I'd love to hear from you. Drop a comment below and tell me your favorite budgie mutation or share your experiences with blackface budgies. What crosses have you tried? What results surprised? You the most? If you found this video helpful or fascinating, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with fellow bird lovers. And of course, drop a comment if you've ever bred or owned a blackface budgie. I can't wait to hear your thoughts.